Okay, today's product we got a Blue Eddy AC 180. This is not a paid sponsor. I bought this unit. This thing will power a hair dryer with no problem, 1500 watts. But it will not run a 300 watt corn stove, pellet stove. Most people know them as pellet stoves, but the American Harvest, you can put corn in it. You burn corn in it. You gotta start it with pellets, but it burns corn. Okay, it can only run, that unit only runs around 300 watts. I can start it up, or we're gonna do a test on it after a while. Probably do it in the morning. I'm gonna do another cold start right now, it's running. And uh, we're gonna do a complete cold test, start it up. Okay, you turn it on, start the fire, and the exhaust fan runs, and just as soon as the next motor runs, which is the, it's not the auger, it's the stir, it stirs the pot, the auger feeds the, feeds the corn into it, keeps the fire going, it augers in just a little bit at a time, but just as soon as that second motor starts, it just uh, it cuts out and shuts down so I cannot understand why it don't work it's a uh, American Harvest 6039 is the model number on the, those are very popular stoves also very popular and I've seen very few videos on a solar power generator running a corn stove well, that just automatically, I mean, that's the reason why I bought it. I bought this to, to run the corn stove in the wintertime if we have another ice storm. I've been out three days with an ice storm. And so I needed to uh, be, nice to, be nice to have something that would run the corn stove while I was completely without power. I do have a generator also. I'm going to try the stove one more time in hopes that I don't mess up my stove. See, I don't know if it's going, the voltage is dropping is why it's dropping out. It's not showing a, uh, an over overload on this, so I cannot understand why it's not working. And I sure would like to get this thing working on the, on the American Harvest 6039 is a model number. If anybody knows how to get it going, put it down in the comments. And like I say, there's very few videos with the solar generator running a pellet stove. You'd think there'd be a whole lot more. I, I bet there wasn't four or five of them that they was running. And there was an older model too, so what I can't understand. Old, Older model Blue Eddy that was running a pellet stove. I think he had his hooked up to a thermostat. I guess we'll go to the we'll go to the stove and we'll do a cold start. And I'll show you this thing in action. And uh, we'll see if we can get going, which I've done it twice now. Never even made it 200 watts. Okay, it's up and running full, full power. 128 watts, 131 watts. See how many amps we got? 1.95 amps. I just don't understand why it's not running it. Well, now it's jumping up to. When it jumps up and down, it's going to jump up to 274, yeah, 229, 272, 315 amp, 
the three point. Okay, it's time to turn this thing on. Give this stove another try. Okay, we got the got it powered up. Turn the AC on. Okay, we've got the stove on. Now we're gonna light it. Well, that didn't even start. It didn't even allow me. It didn't even allow me to start it up. Try it again. Okay, gonna try it again. There's my fire going. Okay, it's running around 42 watts. Usually takes about three minutes before the the other motors kick in. Got a good fire going. Staying pretty steady, around 40, 42 watts, 41. Usually when that first agitator motor kicks on, that's when the whole stove will shut down. Oh, good. Yeah, there it goes. Well, it's still running. Yeah, it died. So it just won't run that. That Blue Eddy AC 180 will not run 
the pellet stone. You would think that would run something that small with no problem. But it's going to start getting smoky in here, so I better plug that thing in. We're going to go try the other power converter. So I'll take this camera with me. Okay, here's a PSWCon pure sine wave inverter, 1000 watts, connected to all these batteries. This goes to my solar system here. There's my power converter. That's the modified sine wave. It's running now. So we're going to try this one here. Let me get this out a little bit. Turn it on. I probably should have a camera running in here too as I do this. But I probably won't unless I have any trouble with it. So I'll get hooked up and we'll be right back. Okay, we got it started. Start it back up. I lit a fire. I forgot to hit the record button. So I got to miss missed the first two or three minutes of this. But you didn't miss nothing. It started right up, almost restarted. Put some more pellets in there, got it started back up. It's looking really good so far. That's the PSWCon 1000 watt pure sine wave power inverter. And I did a review on them. And uh, you can get that on Amazon. They're around. It's going to work. It's going to work on that inverter. So you can see this wire going out to the garage. I barely had enough. Now let's see if the fan kicks on. That's the big one right there. That's great news. At least I got something that'll run it. I've never tried it with this before. No, never really needed to. That just really disappoints me that that power inverter was only around a hundred dollars. This thing's a whole lot more expensive, and it still won't run it. This is moving right along with it. It's running both motors, no problem. That kicks on the fan. Got a good fire going now. Yeah, I don't know how, well, we already did a watt meter. It's not using that many watts. What, less than 200 watts? So that converter ought to be fine. I did that earlier in the video. I 
I'm beginning to think maybe that Blue Eddy might be de might be defective after seeing this. I was thinking about not even doing this test just for the fact of not messing up the stove. But it's doing just fine. It's about ready to kick on. I can feel the heat. I'll let it run for a couple minutes and we'll go back out in the garage and we'll see what the screen says on the front and we'll wrap up this video keeping that fire going good all right there goes the fan the fan is working here it come on That PSW Con has no problem running this stove. So if you got one of these stoves, go over on Amazon and get you one if you want one for backup. It's okay, I think it's gonna be fine. Let's go out in the garage and see what this is gonna say. Okay, we got 12.5 volts input, and we got output. 1.9 amps 60 Hertz 120 volts 14 degrees centigrade yeah 1.9 amps that's not bad and it really disappoints me that the blue eddy won't even run it so I'm gonna wrap up this video and thanks for watching